After you've learned to survive your first day in Project Zomboid, one of your top priorities should be to find a working car. How easy this will be will vary to an enormous level based on your game difficulty sandbox settings. And that's before taking any mods into consideration. For the purpose of this guide, most of my comments will be based around the reality of the apocalypse difficulty setting. When looking to acquire a vehicle, there are several requirements that must all be met. Some of these requirements are more obvious, while others may not seem to be a problem right up until they are. Your most immediate concern are going to be finding a vehicle with a key and finding a car with at least some gas in the tank. Keys can often be found in the glove compartment of cars, or sometimes even in the car's ignition. The car could be unlocked, though it's far more likely you will need to break into the car. When smashing a car window, it's imperative that you have a weapon equipped or else your character will injure themselves breaking the glass. It would also be better to get in the habit of smashing any window except for the driver's side window, as that window will be of most use later on. Car keys can also sometimes be found on the ground near a car. It helps to zoom in to see these, and you may also detect them more readily by activating the foraging system. Car keys can also be found on zombies or inside containers within houses, but this isn't something you can really rely on. When you find a key, it will say what model of car it is for, and the key's color will also indicate the color of the vehicle. When you get close to the matching car, you will see a key icon appear over your head. Your next best bet is probably just to enter as many cars as you can, check their glove box and ignition. Once you have a car key, or have skipped this step by having the ability to hotwire cars, your next most pressing concern will be to find a car with gas. Just note that it doesn't have to be the same car for which you have a key. As of the present build, you no longer need a dedicated gas can to transport fuel between cars and even an empty plastic bottle you fished out of a garbage bin will be sufficient. This should make the whole process of getting gas into the car you want much easier, especially when playing with extreme loot rarity. Gas and a key alone are not enough to get a car running, and while the remaining items on this list are essential for your acquisition, they tend not to be as big of a hurdle, unless you're playing with difficulties beyond the apocalypse setting. The first of these additional concerns is the car battery. A car battery has a condition and a charge. Surprisingly, you don't need to worry about the condition at all. To see the battery's current charge, you can click on it in the list of car parts in the vehicle mechanic screen, or hover over the battery icon on the top left. A battery on zero or nearly zero charge will not start, and in an early run, you should just ignore these and move on. A car battery will actually charge if it's installed in a vehicle that has its engine turned on. So if you do find a battery with extremely low charge, once you get the vehicle started, you might want to leave it running for a while to give the car battery plenty of time to charge. You can move a battery from one car to another. To do this, you will need a screwdriver and access to the interior of the car. Note that like most car parts, batteries are divided into either heavy duty, standard or sports varieties, and these are not interchangeable. Batteries will slowly lose charge over a long period of time. So if you're playing well after the start of the NOX outbreak, you may discover that finding a charged battery is actually more difficult than finding a key and gas. While in the vehicle mechanics menu, you will also need to check the engine. Like the battery, the engine has two attributes, condition and quality. This time around, you only really need to be concerned about condition. An engine with 0% condition will not start. An engine with a low condition may start, though once you get it going, it will frequently stall out. Your car will also need tires. Four would be best. For each tire, there is, again, two numbers you should be concerned with. Condition and tire pressure, which you can actually see by clicking on each individual tire and looking here. Condition is the more obvious of the two, and as a car tire approaches zero, it may blow out, which could necessitate the abandoning of the vehicle and any loot you're hauling. A tire's pressure can usually be ignored, but if you've pulled a tire out of a trunk or looted one from a mechanic shop, it might well have zero tire pressure. If you try to drive on tires with no pressure, hilarity will ensue as the tires will go rolling off your vehicle. To inflate the tires, you will need a tire pump. So in summary, to get a car working to at least some level, you'll need a key or the hot wiring skill, some gas, an engine condition greater than zero, and a battery with at least some charge. Everything else is surprisingly optional, though its absence is not necessarily recommended. I'm Kyle, 
and I hope you've found this guide useful. It's my intent to follow it up with a guide to vehicle maintenance and a guide to vehicle use. For those and more, and for Zomboid long plays, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a nice day.